क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई इज गिवन वी हैव टू फाइंड डी स्क्वायर वाई बाय डी एक्स स्क्वायर एट थीटा इक्वल टू पाई लेट्स सी द सॉल्यूशन वी हैव टू टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्स इक्वल टू टू साइन थीटा माइनस साइन टू थीटा एंड वैल्यू ऑफ द वाई वी विल टेक लाइक दिस टू कॉस थीटा माइनस कॉस टू थीटा देन डिफ्रेंसीटिंग बोथ द साइड विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू थीटा सो इफ यू डिफ्रेंसीट दिस इन दिस वे देन आवर राइट हैंड साइड वी विल गेट डी डी थीटा ऑफ साइन थीटा माइनस डी डी थीटा ऑफ साइन टू थीटा एंड डेट साइड डी वाई बाय डी थीटा इक्वल टू टू डी डी थीटा ऑफ कॉस थीटा माइनस डी डी थीटा ऑफ कॉस टू थीटा सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू कॉस थीटा माइनस टू कॉस टू थीटर इफ यू डिफ्रेंसीट दिस एंड दिस देन वी विल गेट दिस टू ओके सो सिमिलरली वी सॉल्व हियर ओके सो व्हिच इज इक्वल टू नाउ टू दिस इज माइनस साइन थीटर दिस इज माइनस टू साइन टू थीटर now we arrange dx by d theta which is equal to 2 cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta and that side dy by d theta which is equal to minus 2 sin theta minus minus plus 2 sin 2 theta now we are going to find dy by dx okay now dy by dx equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta is equal to 2 sin theta plus Two sine two theta divided by we will get two cos theta minus two cos two theta. Now we will take minus two common. Then this will get sine theta minus sine two theta. n in our denominator minus 2 take common that is minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta okay so our minus 2 minus 2 cancel then we will get this as sin theta minus sin 2 theta divided by minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta and our left hand side is dy by dx okay so this is dy by dx now we need d square y dx square so what can we do we differentiate this with respect to x again so this is equal to d dx of dy by dx which is equal to d dx of this all sin theta minus sin 2 theta divided by minus cos theta plus 
cos 2 theta. So, we solve this by the dx of u by v rule. Okay. So, which is equal to now minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta d dx of we will get sin theta minus sin 2 theta okay minus sin theta minus sin 2 theta d dx of we will get cos minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta divided by we will get minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta whole square. Okay. So, our left hand side we will get d square y by dx square equal to minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta. If you differentiate this, then we will get cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta and this will remain the same. Then this is minus sin theta minus sin 2 theta. Okay. If you solve this term, then we will get this as minus minus of if you solve this term, then we will get minus of minus If we solve this term, then we will get minus of minus sin theta plus minus 2 sin 2 theta. Then our denominator which is equal to minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta whole square. Then multiply we will get d theta by dx. Okay. So, this d theta by dx we multiply it here then this will become d square y dx square and this become dx by d theta. Okay, which is equal to now minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta all remain the same cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta minus sin theta minus sin 2 theta all remain same minus minus plus sin theta this will minus 2 sin 2 theta divided by minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta whole square. Now, we will take the value of theta is pi. Okay. So, this will become d square y dx square and the value of dx by d theta which is equal to two cos pi minus two cos two pi directly we put the value of theta is equal to pi here. Okay. 
So, which is equal to now this is minus cos pi plus cos 2 pi then cos pi minus 2 cos 2 pi ok minus sin pi minus sin 2 pi that is sin pi minus 2 sin 2 pi ok divided by we will get minus cos pi plus cos 2 pi whole square. So, we know that cos pi equal to minus 1 and cos 2 pi equal to 1. Similarly, sin pi equal to 0 and sin 2 pi equal to also 0. We put the value accordingly. Let us see. This is d square y by dx square and this is 2 minus 1 minus of 2 this is 1 equal to minus of minus 1 plus 1 and this is minus 1 minus 2 cos 2 pi means 1. Similarly, we put the sine value here. Okay? So, which is equal to now 0 minus 0 and 0 minus 0 and our denominator is minus of minus 1 plus 1 whole square. This is d square y by dx square. We will get this minus 2, minus 2, and this is 1 plus 1, and this minus 3, 1 plus 1 whole square, which is equal to now d square y by dx square minus 4 equal to. 2 into minus 3 divided by 4. Now, we cancel this 2 with that 4. Okay. Let us see d square y dx square minus 4 and this is minus 3 by 2. Then minus and minus cancel we will get this b d square y dx square equal to 3 by 2 into 4 which is equal to 3 by 8. So, our answer is 3 by 8. Let us see the option. So, option number d is our correct option. So, answer is d.